we are given this tricky geometry question to find the missing angle, this angle right here. Now, what do you think you should do? Nothing is being told. They didn't ask, they didn't give us any definition about the question. They just asked you to find the missing angle. What do you think you should do? Now, what you need to do is to identify some circle properties. Identifying circle properties is just the only key to answering this question. Let me help you to identify some of them. Now, you know too well that when you draw a circle, this part of the circle is what we call the circumference. And whenever you have a line that touches the circumference at a point, at this point, and moves out, such a line is what we call the tangent. Would this help us in answering this? Yes. You go back to the diagram, you see that this is the outer part, this is the circumference, and you observe that there is a line that touches the circumference at this point. Did you see that line? So it means you have been able to identify one circle property, which is the tangent. Also observe that if you move this way, did you see that the same line touches, another line touches the circumference at a point and moves out. So it means this is also a tangent. We have been able to identify this. Now, having understood this, remember this theorem. That whenever I have two tangents drawn, such that the two tangents are touching at a point, did you see? The theorem says that if this point, so let's take this off. So if I label here B, and here is C, and here is A, the theorem says that this length here, which is AB, is equal to this one here, which is length AC. So these two lengths are the same. What is your reason? Your reason is the two tangent theorem. So that's the reason. So with this, you have identified what do you do? Go back to the diagram. You see that this is tangent and this is tangent. So obeying this two tangent theorem or what you call the tangent tangent theorem, you observe that this and this are the same. From here to this point, is the same as from here to this end. Now that you have gotten that, what do you do next? Now, going back to the diagram, you observe that there is a line here closing this, this two. There is this line here. We call this line a chord. So let's try and bring out this shape. It's going to help us in answering this. Let's do that together. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you for choosing to learn to us. Let's keep doing this. So we're going to now have, so bringing out the shape, so this is what we have. So let's bring out this shape. If you bring that shape out, this is how it looks like. These two are the same. And the angle formed here is 72 degrees. Now, what do you do? When you look at this, it just reminds you of a triangle we call isosceles triangle. And whenever you have isosceles triangle, one special property is that the sides that are equal always form angle at the base. And these angles they form at the base are also said to be equal. So it means that this angle here must also be the same with this one here. So in that case, what do we do? It means if here becomes X, here can also be X. So let's find the missing angle. So to do that, we are going to have 72 degrees at X, at this X, should be equal to the total angles of a triangle, which is 180 degrees. So if you add this, remember, this is X and X because we said the base angle, let's abbreviate it, base angles of isosceles triangle. So that's our reason for making them the same. So this gives us 72 and this gives us 2X is equal to 180 degrees. So to get, to, to remove this, use the additive inverse to subtract. So we subtract 72. And if you do that, 2x will give us, subtract this, it gives you 108. So to get x divided by 2, and when you do that, we now have x, this will give us 54. So the value of x is 54 degrees. Now that we have gotten this side, that means this missing angle, this angle is 54, and this one is also 54. Will it still be of help to us? Because what you want to find is this missing angle. So what do we do with these ones we have found? Now go back to the diagram. Just remember another theorem. Now what is that theorem? 
Remember also that since we said this is a tangent, just remember this theorem, that whenever you have a circle drawn and there is a tangent drawn also, then there's a theorem that says that if there is a chord drawn, this is a chord like we said, it comes in contact with the tangent. Then if I complete this inner to form a triangle, the angle this tangent makes with the chord at the point of contact is the same with the angle in the opposite. So follow this in the opposite is going to be the same. If this angle is A, here will also be A. What is the theorem? The theorem is what we call the tangent and the chord theorem, or what you call the alternate segment theorem. So in this case, what do you do? So what we now do is obeying this theorem, if I go back to this diagram, here is, you see that this is a chord and this is the tangent. So this tangent and the chord makes this angle at this point. So if you trace it in opposite, go in opposite, you see that here will also be 54. So this angle will be 54 degrees. What is our reason? The tangent and chord theorem. Now that here is 54, how do we find this missing angle? Can you now get it? It's becoming easier. So to find this missing angle now, what do you do? Bring out that shape again. So let's bring it out again. And if you bring it out, what does it form? It forms a, an isosceles triangle. And here it's already 54 degrees. So to find this part, which we are looking for, what do you do? Remember I said the base of this angle size that are the same are always equal. So here should be equal with this. So if we also label here X and also label here X, we can now find the angle. So let's do that together. So in conclusion, we are going to now have, add this, we are having X add X add 54 should be equal to 180 degrees because you see this is a triangle. So if you do that, you have, this is 2X add 54 is 180. So to remove this, we now use the additive inverse. So we have 2X is, this will now be 180 subtract 54. And that gives us 2X is subtract this, it gives us 126. To get X divided by 2. And when you do that, X will give us, this will now give us 63 degrees. And that is the value of X. So the missing angle is 63 degrees. And I hope you really learned something. Let's know how much. If you are still new, don't forget to hit that subscription button. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this, and I will see you in my next class. See you. Bye.